Hey everybody, I'm Deborah Richmond. We're going to work on the quilt behind me, which is made with just one simple block over and over again. Now looks are deceiving because this looks like you have a couple of different squares in this block. This quilt is called Windy Blocks, and I'm going to show you the primary block that we use. This whole quilt is made of just this block, and I'm going to show you the placement of some of these so you can see what happens when we put many of these together. So here's the block right here. You see here's one, here's one, there's one. So what happens is that when this block you can see has a square that is up and down, very simple square, and then it seems to be turned on point here. What happens is when you put four of these together, you end up with these corner triangles make this uh, secondary square that's turned uh, on point. And so it looks like you've done something very tricky, but really all you have done is make this block over and over again. So we're going to go ahead and make this block. I'm going to be using a product to, today to make this sh called uh, Triangles on a Roll. This is, I love this product. I use it a lot in my quilts. These, this particular roll is going to make two inch finish half square triangles. And those are what we're going to be using in the block. I'm going to show you how we use this. We're going to be cutting off some of this paper, putting it with some fabrics and sewing through all three layers. And I'm going to show you how that's done. So as you can see, here's the block we're going to be making. And as I said, we're going to be using triangles on a roll. So you can see that I have cut off of the roll this section of paper. Now I use this size because it fits well in my sewing machine. This is going to make half square triangle units. It's going to make 12 of them. So you can see there's four in each row that it's going to make. And if you can't tell quite exactly yet what that's going to look like, that's okay. We're going to show you. So you're going to pin, uh, you're going to take your two fabrics and put them right sides together. And then you're going to pin the paper on top. I just put a couple of pins here just to secure it down enough to get it into my sewing machine. Then I'm going to sew and I'm going to sew on the dotted lines that you see here, all of the dotted lines. So let me show you. I have one that I have. So when I sew this particular squares, I'm going to put it, place it into my sewing machine so that the needle is here. And then I'm going to sew until I get to this corner, put my needle down, turn my fabric, sew this line till I get to the end. I'm going to sew off the end, put my needle down. I'm going to then turn this in the needle and start sewing back this way. So the idea is that you never have to take this piece out until you have sewed all of the lines. Then when all of the lines are sewn, and these, these have been, uh, you're going to take that out and you're going to start to cut. Now I, I have taken the pins out of the uh, paper and I'm going to use this tool. You can use any ruler. I really like this. This is called a quilter slide lock and it's just thicker and it has this nice big substantial handle which I really love for this type of work. So I am simply going to cut on the solid lines. Now remember I sewed on the dotted line. Now I'm going to cut on the solid line. So here's another solid line. First I'm going to do all the outside edges, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do them kind of quick, but when you do them you're going to take a little bit more time. Make sure you got the lines lined up. Okay, now we're going to uh, cut on the solid lines within the piece of paper. So here's one, and I'm just going to keep going, but this is, gives me enough to show you that when you open this up, you have a half square triangle. Now when you sew these, uh, when you sew this paper down to the fabric, you're going to, going to want to shorten your stitch length just a little bit from your, your normal stitch length. I usually do it at a 1.8 or 2 at the, at the biggest. And the reason is so that when you have the paper on the back now needs to be ripped off, it'll be easier to do that. So what I do is I crease the paper, I pull up both sides, and I hang on to that seam pull the paper off. Now I'm ready to um, press that and use it in my block. So here is the block and you will see that these pieces right here, these squares, you'll need four of the purple. They are two inches as is, I'm sorry, they're two and a half inches as is the one in the middle. So all of the squares are two and a half inches. Now we slide in the units that we have created. You're going to sew those three together first. You're going to sew these three together. 
and you're going to sew these three together, and now you're going to sew this row to that one, and this row to that one, making your block. So I do hope you will try this very simple block, which makes this very pretty quilt. This particular one is a baby quilt that's going to be going to a family member who um, baby is going to be born pretty soon, so uh, it is on its way. If you'd like to try this block and you'd like to try the products that we used in the video, I'll have that information below so you can check those out on my website, The Quilted Turtle, at quiltedturtle.com. Thanks for joining me. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can do so here by clicking the subscribe button. That way you'll find out about new videos as they become available.